Hey Capricorn, what's up? What's going on? I hope you're super well. Um, this is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be a quickie. Messages from your person for like May. But you know what, whenever you find it, Capricorn, whenever it works its way into your feed, your timeline is when you're supposed to have it. Um, thank you so much for checking out the video. You know, you're so welcome here and I really appreciate you checking it out. If you find that it resonates with you, you know, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. It's, I really appreciate that. And um, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do that. The link is in the description box underneath the video. So Capricorn, this is a slow moving energy you've got here, okay? With um, this um, 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 <laughs> Knight of Pentacles and then Nine of Cups, okay? Slow moving energy. Um, there's a need here to be patient, okay, with that Nine of Cups. There's a need here to have faith, chillax, and know that what is coming will come. It's really just a question of time now, okay? Yes, it's been slow, but the more that you can kind of appreciate where you are and kind of just appreciate, like if you're single or whatever's going on, like just appreciate where you are and try and be grateful for where you are, that's what you need to be doing at the moment, okay? Because this is just seems to be just a matter of time. Um, your person is deciding whether or not they want a commitment with you, okay? They might have a lot going on at the moment. They have heavy responsibilities that have come up in their red cards, which I'm going to do at the end. But it seems to me they're a little... They might be overwhelmed by, um, like, I don't know, maybe you've already offered this person a commitment or... Is that focus? There we go. Um, maybe you've already offered it or they see that you want this. Do you know what I mean? Um, because the Seven of Cups can be an energy of being a little overwhelmed by choices or like a little overwhelmed by what's, you know, maybe what's being offered to you, kind of not sure, if, you know. The Seven of Cups can also be an energy though, see, if I zoom in on it, if I can get my camera through it. Come on, camera. See how there's like different stuff in all the cups, you know, some of the cups have good stuff, some of the cups have bad stuff. Um, there's an energy here or maybe not tr not entirely trusting the, what's happening here, you know, like maybe they've been burnt in the past with regards to commitment, you know, maybe this is a too good to be true situation is what they're thinking. There's With the Seven of Cups though, there's an energy of like confusion around this, you know, it's like they, they see the possibility of commitment with you, maybe they're not sure you're legit. Maybe they're um, wondering if this is what they want. Maybe they have, you know, they could have family stuff going on at the moment as well. But there's something here like they see a commitment with you and it's it's not that they're not sure that they want it. That's not what I'm picking up here because um, I actually see that they think you would be a very viable partner. <laughs> I know that's a really cold way of putting it, but that's what came to mind. Like, um, I'm a Gemini. Forgive me for being, uh, you know, uh, brutal with the words, but it's it's not so much that they question the relationship, it's like they, they question the dynamics or something, the logistics of it. Um, but you have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups, okay, so they see a lot of celebration with you, you know, I think they would like to date you. I feel like this is an energy of, um, like, either you guys have not dated or like it went stagnant and there's bit like it, there was it went heavy you know I feel like there was there's this kind of wanting to like date you and have fun with you you know what I mean have a sort of new beginning here with this ace of pentacles like I think they see like it would be fun with you you know like you would make them happy this new beginning would make them very happy they're actually moving on though from, they got some stuff that they're working past, okay, and it's, it's pretty clear. You could actually be dealing with an air sign. They're moving on from something, okay. Page of Swords is like moving on, see how the winds are changing, the wind is going this way. And he's kind of looking back, he or she, I don't know what they're supposed to be. Um, he. He with long hair is what I'm going for. He's looking back, you know, kind of at his old life and he's like, oh well, you know, that's the past, like moving on from that, don't need that anymore. 
and it's paired with the Queen of Cups, which is, she's my energy of someone who's been through the ringer, you know what I mean? She's been through a lot, she's had some crap relationships, you know, maybe she's had some crap people around her, friends, family, so she's had to learn good boundaries, you know, she's had to learn to be strong, she's kind of learned to transmute negative energy into positive energy, and by doing so, she now kind of only lets herself attract healthy relationships but you know along with that it's healthy boundaries right so she's maybe still he or she that you're dealing with is like maybe still um uh working like tweaking the boundaries you know what i mean because sometimes when you're like if you're one of those people like i was um that you don't have great boundaries while you're learning sometimes it can come across as a little you know, sometimes you can go very much the opposite way and be a little too defensive, right? A little too aggressive. It's maybe they're still learning to balance this out, okay? Because they have um, the devil card here, which is the thing that's holding them back, okay? So they're dealing with some of their demons at the moment with the page of swords. They're moving away from their demons, which is the king of swords, okay? Partially the king of swords. Focus, please. King of swords, please focus. Um who is, you know, people call him cold, right? He's not cold, um, he's just not a cups sign, you know? He thinks about things a lot, and you know, there might be a lot, like I said, you might be dealing with an air sign, there might be a lot going on in their head that they're not telling you. You know, the King of Swords doesn't really like to, ex it's not that he doesn't like to express emotion, it's, you know, sometimes he finds it hard to express emotion, right? But it doesn't mean there isn't emotion there, that's not what the King of Swords means, you know, it's it's like um, this person may have had a habit in the past because they're kind of defensive about things that have gone down, you know, if they've been hurt, if they've been kicked in the, the hoo-ha or the nutsack a few times, you know, they'll be defensive, but they're kind of learning to let this go so they can let you in, and I feel also have become more of this Queen of Cups energy where, see how she's actually got her cup covered? She's actually, if I can get it to focus, she's actually the only one in the cup suite who has her cup covered, which to me kind of means, um, you know, um, healthy expression of your feelings, right? So I feel like that's what this person's moving into now. They're actually, this is amazing, you have the death card with the sun, which is amazing because she, the, this person um, he or she is having like a death, you know, there's like an ending here and it's followed right by the sun which is beautiful because see if you look at the death card, see the sun trying to come out, you have to have the ending before you can have the new beginning, right? So this person is essentially um, like shedding an old skin so they can have this relationship with you. You have the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck, mistrust, okay? This person's been misused in the past in some way, so they've developed a healthy slash unhealthy kind of mistrust of people, they have their guard up, right? Um, but underneath that is the Ace of Cups, so they have a lot of love for you here, a lot of love. <laughs> Focus please, um, with that Ace of Cups, okay, so basically this, like the emotions that they have for you are kind of overriding this desire to be defensive, which is great. You have the Four of Wands and the Eight of Wands, okay, so there's going to be communication here. This is going to be um, like a very, they're going to start to open up to you, you know what I mean? Because the eight of wands, it's, it's like freedom, you know, it's, um, ex it's like self-expression, feeling free to express yourself and that four of wands is a commitment, you know, it's stability. So you're, you're about to enter, this person is about to enter this territory with you of like stability and freedom of expression, like freedom to be themselves, express, expressing themselves. And the Four of Wands as well, um, you know, it, it talks about commitment, you know? It talks about entering a commitment with someone. And you know what? This person would like this to move faster, okay? With the Knight of Swords energy. I think this is gonna happen fast with this, and you also have, this will happen fast, sorry, that was too fast, wasn't it? Um, 
I moved the card there. You also have this little happy fast in the red card. See with that Knight of Swords, I feel like it's just, I don't know, something's going to click. And then it's just going to be like all systems go. But they've really been working on themselves with that Eight of Pentacles. Um, they might be kind of conflicted at the moment. It's like in their head they want this to go faster, but they, they're still working. I don't think you're going to have to wait much longer though, to be honest with you. They've been working on doing a lot of releasing. They have two tens here. A lot of releasing, like pain from the past, sadness, things that were weighing them down. And they're working on coming towards you here. So you have the Eight of Pentacles working on something, which is clarified by those two tens, and the Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups, which is self-expression, expressing emotions, coming towards you with an open heart, giving you their heart, okay? So this is what they're working on, and I feel with this Knight of Swords, they may just crack. <laughs> like, you know, it may have been like they've been trying to hold this back for so long, or it feels like something's just gonna click with this person, or this connection, um, you have at the bottom here, you have, I think about you all the time, which if you are dealing with an air sign, as an air sign myself, I can tell you that is high praise indeed. And the camera just went to one, 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 one. So I guess some of you are dealing with an air sign. It doesn't have to be, um, but even if you're not, you know, this person's, um, they may have a lot of air in their chart, you know, even if it's not an air sign. You have, I'm coming back, which is always nice to hear, right? <laughs> you have, you're a light in my world. So I feel like you give this person hope. You know, there might not be a lot of movement here, but the thing is, you never know, like, what this person, like, if they're not expressing it, you never know what they're thinking, right? Like, you know, you are a light in my world that talks about hope. So you seem to be the catalyst for this change, right? Which is pretty impressive, Capricorn. Yeah, you have heavy responsibilities here. So they could actually, they could be dealing with some other stuff. This could be like what they're working through at the moment. Heavy responsibilities, like they might be working through heavy emotions. Um, I am plucking up the courage. So yeah, they're definitely like dealing with things, you know what I mean? So they can come towards you and you have, this is gonna happen fast. So I would get ready Capricorn. I mean, you know, fast in terms of what the universe thinks is fast. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I do, I, I feel, I mean, you have that Knight of Swords, it does feel like something's just gonna click here and it's gonna, yeah, it's like you had to wait for so long and then suddenly everything just falls into place and it's like boom, 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 oh, you're in a commitment now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so anyway, Cap, I'm going to leave it there. That was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy reading for you. Um, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. I would appreciate that. And don't be a stranger, Cap. Come back and see me soon. Uh, bye.